Hi, I'm Anthony Pelosi. We're at the Winter NAM show in Anaheim 2009, and we are here at the Pelosi Bases booth. Um, showing here uh, one of my five string fretless bases, uh, all handmade in my shop in Brooklyn, New York. I hand wind the pickups at my shop, and I also built the preamps at my shop. The construction of the bases is a uh, multi-laminate exotic uh, wood base. Most of the tone coming from what I feel uh, is the older wing wood that's laminated on this base by uh, book matched monkey pod wood. And the center on this base happens to be uh, Honduran mahogany. At which point I shape it down, cut the neck pocket, and I use uh, West African or Gabon ebony uh, for this board. The lines are then filled with a putty. Uh, sometimes I'll use uh, maple strips that have been thickness sanded for uh, the correct line size. The top of this base is koa. I also have a uh, black veneer to showcase the line between the ebony and the koa. The hardware on this base, this happens to be a German manufacturer, ABM uh, saddles, separate saddles. This base has uh, Godo lightweight tuning machines. And I suppose the most important feature is that this entire base is made by my hands only in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I don't have understudies that make my bases and I come here and sell them as my bases. The only set of hands that touch this instrument are mine in New York. And uh, so for that I'm, I'm very proud and I, I think people have been really responsive to it. Uh, an all-American made product uh, makes people happy and that's one of the most important parts. So we have the five string fretless. I also have the four string fretless. And on the other side, employing the uh, same preamp structure and pickup construction as the previous bases. Uh, we have four string base, same construction with canary wood top, then a five. This one actually has uh, Karina as the wing wood or center wood. And then a small maple with a uh, fa fancy fingerboard inlay that I also cut at my shop in uh, Brooklyn. Fingerboard woods range. I uh, use just about everything from ebony, cocobolo, bubinga, maple, uh, and I keep them stored at my shop. Uh, that's uh, another important factor is uh, all the woods I use to build are stored and stabilized to my shop. Uh, I'm not uh, rushing to buy wood and having it adjust in the person's hands once they get it home. Everything has been acclimated to that base uh, in my shop. There's a uh, book matched Wenge top. Uh, it starts out as a double thickness piece that I resaw and book match and open up. This is a quilted mahogany veneer with the zebra wood top on the pickup. The pickups are inserted into the body uh, through an Allen head adjusting machine screw with brass inserts in the body. So you can either adjust the pickup by raising or lowering the cover or by adjusting the screw heads which uh, ride in threaded inserts on the bobbin of the pickup. And you can see here the laminate uh, to the top and then a mahogany core. All of the bases have a polyurethane and oil finish. Um, it can be maintained uh, with lemon oil and once you wear down in the main playing areas and the tummy cut, you can take some steel wool and put some more tongue oil and or mix it with lemon oil and it'll be as good as it was uh, 
when you got it. The neck fastens with machine screws and brass inserts. Um, the benefit of this is that the neck is a bolt-on but remains very stiff in the pocket. Uh, I have, um, I, I love fender bases also, but I have guys who play fenders, they come in and they try to do neck bends and vibrato and I have to tell them I'm sorry, the neck is too strong to do that sort of stuff. But uh, it works for my bases. It may, may not work for something else, but on these it does. So uh, that's it. I'm Anthony Pelosi. These are Pelosi bases. Thanks for listening.